Welcome to a wet and windy farmland Halion Island. I'm going to get on a few rides here and show you what's available. around quickly and show you what rides are here. New for 2023, you've got the Extreme over here. And yeah, they're loving it. They had one of these last year, but it's not quite as extreme as this one. That's why it's called Extreme. And new for this year, they've also got Aztec Falls. Yeah, this looks really good. I'm not sure if this was the one from Poulton's Park, because they had one pretty much the same at Poulton's Park here. Uh, and yeah, that was removed, so yeah, that might have been from Poulton's Park. I'm not too sure. I'd have to Google that one, see if that's from Poulton's Park. But yeah, this looks really nice here for Funland Taylor 9, and it's a good addition for the park. Got my 12 tokens for a tenner then. Right, let's get on some rides at Funland Taylor Island. First ride of the day, then, is going to be Mine Train. Yeah, I quite enjoy this. I've been on this lots of times, and I'll take you aboard for some on ride footage. Mine train. Yeah, everyone's staying away today because the weather absolutely terrible. Yeah, I just got off mine train that is absolutely unbearable. Even my camera cut out midway through, so yeah, you didn't get the full footage. And yeah, on those corners, it was terrible. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's got so unbearable in the space of a year because I went on it last year and it was really enjoyable, but now it's just terrible. And new for 2023 as well, you've got Jungle Splash over here. Used to be the Flume of Doom, but they've re-themed it to a jungle theme. And I'm gonna get on there and show you what it's like and show you any changes. Yeah, they've re-themed this for the 2023 season. As I said before, it used to be Flume of Doom. And yeah, they've put in some nice bits of theming on here. Coming up to the tunnel now. Yeah, this was uh, zombie themed before. You had quite a few zombies in there. Yeah, this tunnel that they've painted this up. You can smell paint in there. Middle of August, no one around, just me on there. Absolutely crazy. The weather lately is terrible. Yeah, look at him there. He's quite nice. Such a slow moving log flume, this one, as it goes around, really slow. And yeah, they've put some nice bits of theme in around here, though, as I said. He's quite good as well. You've also got an aeroplane just over there as well, that looks quite good as well. Welcome to Dingo Dane's Jungle Survival Stories. Yeah, this is really good as well. Got some nice little uh, penguins just down there as well. And here we go. People waiting down there for their exit on the. Uh, little miniature train just down there and as you can see the wings really picked up now again because obviously you're right next to the sea close to going round that coast to there is really painful as I said it's an absolute soaker as it used to be as well now you didn't see any footage of me getting dropped because I didn't bring my GoPro wrist strap with me today unfortunately it was a random trip out here today so I thought I'd just bring my GoPro and hope for the breast really and I accidentally dropped it on the drop uh, yeah it got a little bit wet as well but yeah, I got absolutely soaked on there. On to the next one. They have a nice little air balloon ride here for the kids. And they've also got Jurassic Safari. This looks really good for the little ones as well. Yeah, it goes round nice and slow, this one. Nice and gentle. And you get a little bit of theming inside there. Yeah, the dinosaurs on this little jungle safari ride, they look great. And along with that, they've got a standard carousel here as well for the kids. They got their super cyclone here. I won't be going on this today. Yeah, it's starting to really chuck it down now. But yeah, I'll just show you a bit of a closer look of Super Cyclone. Really nice fish and chip shop over there as well. If you come in here, I highly recommend going over to that fish and chips. It's the place to eat. 
here at Funland there's lots of arcades around so if you want to get in here and have a bit of fun without going on some rides then get yourself down here lots of machines in here and I'll show you what's around here we go they got Daytona USA in here I used to love a bit of Daytona USA I haven't played this for years yeah great machine Daytona USA Twilight Zone here I wish it was Terra Terra though love a bit of Terra Terra at Hollywood Studios they've also got some other machines here just over here they've got Star Wars if you're a fan of pinball then get yourself down here yeah, I'm not going to show you around all the machines because we'll be here all day. Probably switched off already. You'll only get bored of that anyway, won't you? In Diane's dining now to get away from the rain it's really chucking it down out there. This used to be wimpy in here, but yeah, it's now Mal's, was it? Diane's diner. Got my latte now to warm up. What I like about Funland is they have this indoor dodgems here it's not outside so if the weather's bad like it is today you can just come in here and have a nice bit of fun on these yeah these are good dodge dodgems as well so yeah and i'm going to take you on board and show you what they're like love a good dodgems these are indoors so yeah coming here in the bad weather there's only a few people in here but yeah i didn't want to get soaked on one of the other rides at the moment so why not come in here Literally two other cars on here with me at the moment, why not go there? Just go around in circles, here we go. Yeah, so the additions that they got for 2023, the new look log flume in there, that's quite good, I quite like that. Uh, along with that, obviously they got the Miami over there as well, that's really good, the extreme one. I'm not going on that at the moment because, like I said, it's pouring down with rain at the moment and on something like that, you're going to get absolutely soaked on there. Let's go for the kill anyway, see if we can get some. Here we go. Three. Yeah, you're going to get soaked on that. You're going to get the constant wind in your face. So I'm going to leave that one at the moment. I might get on it later. Depends if the weather dies down. Yeah, I can't believe I went on that log room and dropped the GoPro. It's not good at all. Yeah, they've also got Soaring Seagulls, which is a nice little bike attraction for the kids as well. Yeah, I quite like this flying gun mode. It's really well themed. And the operator in the station as well. He's singing lots of songs. Enjoying himself just over there, zoom in a little bit. He's having a great time, pumping out the tunes, having a little sing along. But yeah, as I said, really good filming, theming on the flying jumbos just down there. Jumbos, dumbos. Yeah. They've also got this here at Funland. This is nicely themed as well. I like the ride vehicle on this, it looks really good. Yeah, you got that little sunflower there as well. They've also got Spinosaurus here, and I'm going to take you on board now and show you what it rides like. It's going pretty slow today, that's probably because of the weather. Very slow indeed, I've never really seen one of these go this slow. It was like this on the first lap round, this was the second lap round. But yeah, very slow from Spinosaurus there. Last ride of the day then is going to be Spinosaurus, the spinning coaster. And here we go, second lap round on Spinosaurus Three. There we go. Woo. And there we go, that was Spinosaurus. Yeah, I'm having one of those days today. Today's an unlucky day. The flap on my GoPro is snapped off, meaning the battery falls out on the rides. That's why the uh, on-ride footage is not the best today. Yeah, not having a great day. Just had a ride then on Spinosaurus. Yeah, as I was saying, my GoPro flap is busted off. So yeah, the footage isn't the best today, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But yeah, Spinosaurus is a good family coaster. I quite enjoyed that. Yeah, so when visiting Funland Halen, I suggest you get come here and get some fish and chips. I'm going to show you the menu just inside here as well. It's a really nice chip shop here. Quite a few people come here because it's so nice. Just come here literally just for the fish and chip shop. Yeah, it's really nice there. But if you're not looking for fish and chips, they've also got the Carousel Cafe around there where you can get sandwich. They even do breakfast around here. Kids meals, jacket potatoes, toasties, paninis. And just over in the distance over there, you've got a nice donut bar. They do nice donuts over there as well. I'm going to take you in the gift shop now and show you what's available. You've got a nice little fudge section just over there. 
and you've got various kids toys just down here as well if you want to buy the kids a nice little treat after you visit Funland Halen Island or oh, that hat just fell down there just randomly just from up there here we go we've got some nice Halen Island teddies just over as well yeah I'm not going to show you the prices for any of this stuff here that I normally would do at other parks it's just to show you what's in here just in case you fancy a little treat on the way out here we go lots of nuggets over here as well sticks a rock and you've got some nice butter shortbread over here too as you well know I love a good little gift shop and that's the end of the day at Funland Halen yeah unfortunately today the weather's not been the best but you can't really odds that can you and as well my GoPro flap fell off so of course the battery kept falling out so I couldn't help that and the on-ride footage is going to be terrible for you today but I got what I could so what did I enjoy most about today the actual jungle log flume here is really really good now they've got some really nice theming on there so yeah get on that if you come down here even if you're going to get soaked on it yeah that last little piece of theming on the log flume there is really good I was really impressed with it as for the coaster there, that used to be my favourite here, but unfortunately that's really rough now. Better move out the road because there's a car behind me. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this vlog, then please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next Theme Parks and Attractions video. See you soon. Put me on an airplane, get me out of there.